Hey, what's going on guys? So uh, today I'm doing a quick and dirty video uh, reprofiling this blade. Uh, I showed this knife in a previous video and we have a broken tip on this guy. So what I did was I put on the uh, coarse uh, belt on this uh, work sharp and uh, definitely not <laughs> not how to use this particular uh, tool, but it's going to work fine as a basically a belt sander. And I'm just going to reprofile this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a straight line on the actual edge of the blade just to clean it up, get it nice and straight. Then I'm going to work towards the back here, take off metal, and if I use my my hand, well, <laughs> you guys get the idea. I'm going to take off metal on the back until I create a new tip. All right, so we take this broken tipped blade and, uh, you know, form something new that looks better and has a nice point. All right, so I'm going to get to it. Uh, I was going to do this inside, but unfortunately, uh, things are all plugged in the outlets in the wall. There wasn't a great place to do it. So I thought, you know what, let me do a quick and dirty job outside. I came outside and today is freezing. All right, so winter is uh, definitely here in northeastern Pennsylvania. All right, so hopefully I'm kind of in an awkward position here just because I have a tripod. So hopefully get this done. We'll see. All right, the old quick and dirty. By the way, I'm using extremely light pressure, just trying to get this as straight as possible. Alright, so our blade edge, definitely a lot straighter than it was. Alright, so now we have a straight edge. Let's take off metal off the back. Alright, so the belt is moving this way. Also, I have to take uh, little breaks here because the blade's obviously going to heat up. All right, so basically just take a lot of the shoulder off to create a point here. So I'll probably edit some of this out <laughs> so you don't have to wait for these breaks. But yeah, you do want to let that metal cool off so you don't mess around with the temper. So here is our new blade profile. So we have not quite like a full Warncliffe, but not really a sheep's foot. It's kind of something in between. A sheep's foot would have, to me anyway, drops off a lot sooner. Um, but I do want a little bit more of a point. But I, I was thinking to maybe take off more to create even, you know, a pointier point. But I really don't think it's necessary. All right. So there is the profile. I think that's going to work just fine. So what I'm going to do is now I'm going to actually sharpen it. 
All right, so we're gonna come back in here and sharpen both sides because obviously our, our cutting edge is completely flat, just like our spine. There we go, okay. So like dragging it off as it rolls, it's doling that very, very tip. But anyway, so now we have an actual tip on there, which is fairly pointy. All right, so we have an edge, we have a tip, we have a little bit of a thinner blade <laughs> from all the grinding, we have dirty hands, but uh, that's it. So that's a, again, that's a quick and dirty, on the wrong tool, I'm using this basically as a makeshift uh, small belt sander. Um, you know, in the, the proper environment, you could do a really good job and reprofile re uh, blades with broken tips. But this is just to give you just a basic idea of what we're doing here. We're taking off steel to reshape it. I mean, that's how the knives are made in the first place. You take steel and you shape it, right? So when it gets misshapen by, you know, the tip breaking off, whatever, you just reshape it up. So there we go. Now this is just a rough belt, so what I'll do is I'll probably go back and at least put on a, a medium belt and clean up that edge a little bit uh, just to get it even sharper, and then I'll go ahead and uh, strop it up. But now we have a blade that not only is sharp and has a point, but it also completely goes inside the handle. Remember before, because of the, the broken tip, we had an edge poking out, but now it is completely safe you know, to, uh, to leave in the pocket, so when you go to grab it, you don't get poked or anything by any broken edges. So. It's completely concealed in the handle and very functional. So I'm going to clean this uh, this blade up a little bit, really get that nice and sharp. Uh, and I'll probably do it. The other blade is not dull at all. It is pretty sharp. But I'll um, strop this, strop that blade, clean this up, maybe even polish the bolsters just a little bit, re-oil this guy. And we have a very nice functional 100 plus year old knife or around 100 years, let's just say. I forget the exact year on this one. But about 100 years old and still kicking just fine. Just need a little bit of love. So that's all for now. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you have an awesome day, and I'll see you tomorrow with a brand new video. Take care.